here, Panorama Langkawi, which is home to the famous Sky Bridge and Sky Cab. Yeah, but little did we know until we came down here, there's actually a lot more than just the Sky Bridge and Sky Cab. There's a number of different attractions and the big oriental village just behind us that we cannot wait to go and explore. Let's go. So we just got our tickets for the Sky Cab and the Sky Bridge, but before we head up, we wanted to do a quick lap of the Oriental Village here. Really cool spot. There seems to be a number of restaurants, shops. Mm -hmm. They've got this big pond filled with like koi fish in the middle. And uh, lily pads. Yeah, so it's a really cool spot. Yeah. We just saw what looked like a mini double-decker bus go by. <laughs> it's so cute. It looks like a little person's bus. Yeah, so you can do little <laughs> tours like that, but it is exactly what it the name says it's just kind of like a little village with yeah. all these little shops and restaurants and whatnot. One of the other attractions here was this big virtual reality complex. Unfortunately no mention of it being closed and the entire thing is closed down right now yeah. so. And then it looks like there's a lot of closed shops here. Obviously the lady at the front desk was saying that they are owned by different companies so that is understandable but there's a lot closed so I was a little disappointed to see that. I feel like with those clouds coming through Maybe we go do the sky cab first because we'd hate to get rained out from it. Just so you guys know, the weather does play a factor on the sky bridge and sky cabs. If it's too windy or raining too heavy, they won't let you go up. So yeah. since we are seeing some rain clouds in the distance, maybe we go check that out. Yeah, first. let's do it because we can always come back and do the other stuff in the rain. Yeah, everything else is inside. So let's go do that first. Oh, you excited? We're going to go so high up. I'm so scared. Yeah, and it's cool too. So they've got a couple of different options when it comes to the Sky Cab. There's the regular one, one that they call 360. I'm not sure what that is, mm -hmm. but they have a VIP one. So you can do it just with a smaller party, whoever you're with. But then they also have what we got, which is the glass bottom one. Yeah. So it's going to be really cool because you get to see all the way down the whole time. Yeah. You're and you're going to be able to see through. Like, it's going to be so cool. All right, let's do it. <laughs> it's like bumpy. All right, we're in. Look, we got the glass bottom. Right now, it's just concrete. <laughs> Coming to the top. All right, so we did get off, but it's actually just the middle station. So there's like a big observatory deck here, another one just up there. But the bridge is actually at the next stop. So we're just making a quick pit stop to get some good views of this place. Oh, wow, look at that. Yet another attraction not open. We think it's just not quite open yet. Yeah, it looks brand new, so looks we'll give them new. that. Yeah, so if you do come here in the near future, hopefully it is open. And you can see on the sign there, it says the longest freestanding cantilever sky bridge walkway Something. thing in the world. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's it got does look the cool. Lenkawi Eagle. Those eagles are famous to the island. I didn't realize that. But if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> but now I think we can move on from the middle station and go check out the actual suspension bridge. Let's go. It says on the website that it's open until 6.30, but the sky bridge is only open until 5.30. So make sure you come a little bit earlier. Don't wait till the last minute. So are we doing the natural trail or you can get a sky glide? Yeah, so if you, for whatever reason, if you have like any you know, physical restrictions, people of old age, people with little kids, you can do the sky glide and it takes you right to the bridge. But there is the nature trail, get a nice beautiful view, a little bit more fresh air. It is cheaper and no, no way. The sky glide had a long lineup when we first got off. So I think we're just gonna take the bridge. 
way down here past an elderly woman that seemed to be struggling. So it is important to note that they do have the sky glide if need be. And you struggle with your fitness level might be worth might be worth getting. But we're here. We made it. Literally on top of a mountain or two. <laughs> Literally in between two mountains. Yeah. The wind feels nice. Yeah, it feels really <laughs> nice after the climb. But he just lifted his shirt and was like letting all the wind in. The views are incredible. I usually don't have a problem with heights, but that is sketchy. That's as much as I can do. Okay, let's go to This is where Jeff puts me to shame. I didn't want to Making me feel like I gotta do it again. <laughs> if I just don't look, it's that much easier. <laughs> you can hear the wildlife down at the bottom, you know, like the, the kind of like the screeches of the no, animals and the rattles. And... Yeah. Oh, do you feel that? The wobble? Yeah, we're like right in the middle of the bridge now. Definitely see the most wobble. And we were seeing that it's actually the highest, um, it's the highest sky bridge in all of Southeast Asia as well as the longest like rotary or like round bridge of suspension bridge like this in the world. And I believe the gondola is one of the steepest. Yeah so it's a bunch of ists all in one. Steepest, roundest, longest, tallest, so many ists. go across this big long circular bridge and then it comes out to another viewpoint here Ooh, you can just see so much of this island from up here it is the steepest or at least was during construction it was the longest free span and I don't know if that's most in the world but steepest and longest free span in the world whenever it was being built very cool that is very cool and it's so nice to be able to get out and explore and be in the sun and do an adventure. We haven't done an adventure in like a month and a half. Yeah. Because we were in like Laos and if you saw our Laos video, that didn't go as planned. And we spent like a whole time working, so. So it's nice to get some fresh air yeah. and some beautiful views. Oh, look at this. The Langkawi Island. Ooh, look at the construction photos. Ooh -hoo. See. How did they make it? You know what I mean? Like the this engineer. I, I know. <laughs> but like to be so high up in the sky, like engineering ish, you know? Engineering ish it's stuff. It's just like so Miss? cool. Hi. See? <laughs> the longest curve hanging bridge in the world. So we do a little bit of research before we come out. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> we knew a little bit of that. We knew a little bit. All right, so we've come back down to the bottom, back to the Oriental Village. We're gonna check out a few things. Like we said, some of the things we were looking forward to, like the Selfie Museum is unfortunately closed, but they do have the 3D art exhibit as well as some kind of like almost virtual reality experience. And we'll check that out in a little bit here. But I think we'll start out with the 3D art museum. Yeah, let's do it. Just because it's right there and I don't know where the other one is. So <laughs> we'll check this out first and then we'll go see what the other one's all about. Look at this room. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, so this 3D museum or 3D exhibit is really cool, <laughs> but I will say one thing. I don't think that we really needed the selfie museum because we're getting enough selfies as it is here. <laughs> we got a lot of selfies. It's fun for the whole family, for sure. There's a lot of kids themes, but even if you're just two adults like us, still a great time yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. They've just got all these different zones that are like different themes or whatever. So that was the paintings. Yeah, that was the different famous paintings one. Recognize Van Gogh, Starry Night. He was like, that's it. And well, no, Mona Lisa. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> Didn't even realize it or notice, but yeah, there's a projector up on the screen, so they're gonna do a bit of a show here. Everybody's all piling in. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. I feel like I'm in like a, hot, uh, like a prime school uh, assembly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. pretty cool yeah. cool photo op don't want to show too much of it if you want to check it out yourself gonna have to come on down it's funny as we were leaving though we were kind of like is that it <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was literally like two minutes yeah but i think we've been a little bit spoiled with our times in like vegas at cirque du soleil and yeah. stuff Disneyland. our expectations for indoor laser shows and whatnot it's quite high the bar has been set yeah <laughs> but on to the next one. This single wristband gives you access to a few things. The next one is called Sky Rex or Sky Dome. We well, need to confirm that before we go ahead. Yeah, but we'll go check it out right yeah. now. In the front or in the middle? I don't know. Maybe in the middle? Where do we sit? Where do we sit? In the middle. Well, it was all right, so-so. Uh, to be honest, it was kind of quick and it was, we sat in the middle, which I'm glad we didn't sit in the front, but if you go do it, I'd recommend sitting in the very back. But I don't know, it was so, so, and it felt like it just ended quickly. It just abruptly ended. And it's like Jess said when we were in there, it's kind of random. Like, yeah. I don't want to give it away, but it's just like a random show. And also, I feel like it could have been, and a bit of a spoiler here, but it could have been more like the stars. Yeah. Than it was. I thought that's what it was supposed to be about. Yeah. Not what we would just watch. Yeah. And it was so fast. It was super fast. But yeah, all this to say, I'd say so far anyways, the best thing is the bridge itself. Yeah. Amazing the views. The gondola was really cool. The other stuff, so-so. It's kind of like a half-ass amusement park, but it's not really fit in like the amusement yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? 100% of like them. They're trying to make it like a big amusement park but it's not hitting it. And that, not to sound spoiled, yeah. we've just had the bar set high by going to some of the most amazing parks in amusement the world. parks in the yeah. world, yeah. But <laughs> we got the last one and hopefully we save the best for last. So I think this is supposed to be about dinosaurs because I see a dinosaur on a sign and it's called Rex, so. Yeah. What is it? We're some screens in the other room. We were like, maybe it's a roller coaster. We're like, well, it's inside, so it can't be that much of a roller coaster. It's like, what is it? And when it first started, we were like, well, it sounds pretty quiet in there, so can't be that exciting in the now. <laughs> we actually have a safety bar, so is it going to move? It's going to be like a roller coaster. And we got the 3D glasses on. I think this one's going to be a little bit better than the Sky Dome. Yeah, Sky Dome. Sky Dome. <laughs> Rebel without a cause. Well, that was pretty cool as well. It was fun. It was more intense than the Sky Dome one, for yeah. sure. But again, it was really short. Yeah. Yeah, it was real short. And I don't know, when it comes to all the different excursions that you can do here, 
I think that the sky bridge is probably the best one. Yeah, and you're coming here to do the gondola and the sky bridge, and obviously that's the best to do. So really, I think you can avoid all the other little... Yeah, if you're with the family or whatever, they are pretty cool. But like we said, they just end really abruptly like that. <laughs>